If you are still bound, how will you travel? I crafted a protection ward that'll keep me from being pulled out of the realm. It should hold until I find what I need. And what is that? The source of the magic that binds me to Midgard. We're going to find it. And destroy it. I will help you. But it will not change what I have done. I know. That's why I still might kill you when this is over. We going or what? We bet! Going nowhere without this. Where would you mug spouts even be without me? And what is it you expect to meet Kratos for, Highness? Clearly, you've been quite capable of breaking Odin's curses on your own. The other curses grew weak from Thimble Winter, but I still needed help to break them. This one is held strong. So all that trying to kill him, that's just your goddessy way of asking for help? I don't recall asking you to come along. Because you didn't. I got an old drinking buddy I've been meaning to look up once this joint were back on the map. Got a hunch lending you mokes a hand's gonna end me up where I'm going. And what makes you think that? Cause last I heard tell, she was running with that beef wit brother of yours. Freyr... ...is not a part of this. Well, my hunch says other. Scrope, too. I can feel the pull of the binding curse. Its source is further in. Follow me. Muggier than a moonful hind shit pit out here. I'm nearly as fragrant. Suppose Fimble Winter's to blame. But if it helps these two find peace. This is a. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is if you happen to find yourself talking to your brother. Maybe the worst words said between you don't have to be the last one said. Hold up! If you want to keep your insides inside. Yeah. All yours, big guy. Your people not receiving visitors? I wouldn't know. They're not my people anymore. Bet you're glad old Brock's around to save you. Uh-oh. Yeah! We should probably go get him. Keep your guard up. Yo, keep that Brock. Send another god to do his dirty work. Thor, too busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing, then. Am I right? No, no. No need for threats, brother. 
Oh, I know that voice. <laughs> you know, I'd cut off your head, but it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye, oh, quite observant, brother. <laughs> oh, you're no brother of mine. He sold my sister to that prick. We broke it a piece. Oh. Did you now? Where is it? Hmm? And where is my sister? Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me. Settle for blood. Stop! What is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Envy. There's no time to explain, just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can't undo what's been done. I can. I will. Now let them pass. So, you serve my sister. Put him down. What's with leaving me hanging like that, you crusty hag? Oh, can it, Blubber? Not a bit of wit. Well, found who I was looking for. Think I'm gonna stay and catch up. Oh, are you now? Do as you wish. Brother, if you wouldn't mind, I'd have a word with Lord Freya. Sorry, we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. I'm pretty used to only seeing Aesir in these parts. Don't typically get friendly faces. That... That is a friendly face, right? His name is Kratos, and no. The Aesir are in Vanaheim. <laughs> yeah, we've been occupied since... Yeah, I lost count. What is your plan? Still kind of working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Well, I'll take what I can get. Your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Hey, Kratos. As long as you're working for my sister, carefully you don't screw up. She's not too big on forgiveness. Bit late for that one, I'm afraid. All right. Not here. Now that the distractions are out of the way. I have words if you would hear them. Speak then. With anger you feel for your brother. I know it well. You have a brother? His name was Demos. When we were boys, he was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors. So by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. His anger poisoned him against me. But I never stopped loving my brother. You think my anger is irrational? You've known Freya for mere moments, and already you're taking his soul. I am not taking his No. You're just sharing your thoughts on a subject you know nothing about.
We need to get to that watchtower. We'll have to go through the valley, this way. I know your son's story. You should know my daughter's. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, the guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya. But it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is not peace I seek. All those times I found you. Why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Freya. You helped us. You saved the trans when you were sick. I did not kill you any more than I wished to die. I see. You hear that? Noken! And so close to the village! Their song makes their allies invulnerable! They will not let you pass unless you destroy them all! I used to play hide-and-seek with Freya in the crops. We'd spend afternoons stealing honey bread from the Grand Hall. At harvest time, we'd dance and feast until the sun rose. These plants behave similarly to the scorn poles we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns. The fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. Atreus would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. He disappears for two days, trying to prove he is a champion, favored to fight a Dragorok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one glow concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time, Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Ha! Well done, bro. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate. Even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. You never know how this will come along. How can you, of anyone alive, be squeamish about war? After all the gods you've killed. I have seen enough war to know the cost. And I don't? After the price I paid to end one? 
Look around you, Kratos. See what happens when you don't fight a true evil. That's one of Odin's captains. Be ready. <laughs> I am reaching my limit for enlightened platitudes from you today. Can you please just shut up and kill things? Do not tell me to kill again. What? I killed to protect my son, to aid my friends. But I will be no one's monster. Never again. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. So much has been taken from me, and I'm just supposed to let it all go? Freya. Enough. I feel the source of the magic keeping me in Midgard. What is this place? My home. I was born here. Hmm. Hold on. Something's not right. Opin Bera. World tree roots bound in Odin's damn knots. That's how he did it. Come on! Nepo! The creature! It belongs to Odin? No! It protects Yggdrasil's roots wherever they are. The bastard was counting on it. That's it! Don't relent! Don't just stand there! Move! <laughs> I need 
to get to those
You found a free. I suppose this is the point where I forgive you, where I kill you. Have you decided? You want to find her. either there's still a part of me that is so angry and it'll always be it'll always be angry but no You are not the one who needs to die. I do see that. Look. Everything that's happened between us. No need to explain. Not to me. 
God. He was ready for a fight. I do not regret saving your life, and never will. But the choice between life and death should have been yours to make. So he is sorry. I should not have robbed you of that choice. that I am myself again. I suppose it's time to face my brother. And after that? No. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment. I uh, we out. Thank mm -hmm. you.